FS Data Desktop was designed to improve the field experience of our customers. It features a simple, intuitive user interface, set up wizards to guide you through installation, and smart program checks to reduce the chance of program errors. In this tutorial, we'll cover Tabular and Graph Data View. In this tutorial, I will present the data task. To view data, you must have previously downloaded data from your logger. In the upper left hand corner, you will see the load file icon. By default, the directory that is opened is the directory that you selected when you downloaded your data. If you don't see the data, you can browse to other locations on your computer. Once you have selected the site that you want to view, click open to load that file into FS Data Desktop. All the data channels that are available in this site file are listed below the site ID. You will see the instrument type, serial number, and connected sensors displayed at the bottom left. Select the channels you would like displayed. You can also deselect channels and your displayed data will immediately reflect the change. If you want to change the units of measurement for any of the displayed channels, you can do that by selecting the Log Channel Units icon found here. Notice the available time span in the header. You can choose from the time span presets or choose a custom time span. You will see that there is a tabular view a graph view, and the default mixed mode view where both a graph and a table are visible at the same time. In the tabular data view, notice the statistics tab. The statistics tab will provide a min, max, average, and totals for logged channels that require totalization like rain and flow. Data can be exported by selecting the export tab. In Graph Data View, the toolbar contains many tools to help you easily and quickly display the information you want to see. The View pull-down allows you to choose the x-axis duration. The VCR style buttons allow you to quickly step to the beginning or end of the data or step one x-axis duration forward or back. The Pan tool allows you to pull the data right or left with the mouse. Click on the hand icon and then left click and hold on the graph while dragging your mouse left or right. The Rubber Band tool allows you to zoom in both horizontally and vertically when you left click and hold to draw a rubber band around the data you want to have a better look at. Release the left mouse button and the graph will zoom in to the rubber banded area you just drew. The zoom in and zoom out tools work like zoom in and zoom out on so many other applications. The fit tool zooms you back out to the selected time span with one click and the copy to clipboard button copies the current graph view to the clipboard for easy pasting to other applications such as email or Word. The graph settings dialog allows you to customize your graph settings including the default graph colors, y-axis scaling and positioning, grid lines, and title bars. Export sends the graph to a PDF print format. For more detailed information on any of the features mentioned in this video, check for specific individual videos in the list on the webpage.